Hello. Checking in from the church sound booth. Let's take a look at Exodus chapter 12. So, starting in verse 21. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, Pick out and take lambs for yourselves according to your families, and kill the Passover lamb. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop, dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike the lintel and the two doorposts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of this house until morning, of his house. For the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel, and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over and not allow the destroyer to come into your house to strike you. And you shall observe this thing as an ordinance for you and your sons forever. It will come to pass when you come in the, to the land which the Lord will give you, just as he promised that you shall keep this service. And it shall be when your children say to you, What do you mean by this service? You shall say, It is the Passover sacrifice of the Lord, who passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt when he struck the Egyptians and delivered our households. So the people bowed their heads and worshipped. Then the children of Israel went away and did so, just as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so they did. So, I've got a few things to get done here at the church, so I'm going to keep it a little shorter today. But notice what it says. When he sees the blood, he passes over. That's it. Not when he sees the blood and who's in the house. Not when he sees the blood and. It's just when he sees the blood, he passes over. And so this is, I think, where the video I mentioned got cut off on Friday. Uh, Wi-Fi was cutting in and out or whatever. I wasn't able to get it solidly through. But in short... The worshiper, now we're looking more to the Levitical sacrifice here, but it's the same concept, would bring a lamb and the priest would examine the lamb. Your job was to hold on to that lamb as its throat would be slit and the blood would pour out and its life would pour out. No one was examining the worshiper they only examine the lamb. God wasn't looking for the blood of people or if you're Egyptian or Jewish, he was looking for the blood of the lamb. And so too, we need to understand that that's what God's looking for. The blood of the lamb, that's it. There's nothing we can add to the blood of the lamb. There's nothing we can do that can take away from the power of the blood of the lamb. God is going to look and see whether you have been covered by the blood of the Lamb or not. End of story. Going to be starting Galatians this Sunday. And that's a big part of that book. You can't add to the message of salvation. You cannot add to the gospel. There is no other gospel. One way is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Him alone. Nothing else can make us more special, more worthy, or more anything other than the blood of the Lamb. And so, emphasizing that one more time before tomorrow we actually see the, the, the death, the tenth plague come, and then the exodus, them starting to take off. And so, and then it's just moving on from there into the wilderness. So, alright, that's what we had for today. It's just nothing but the blood of Jesus, right? So, God bless you guys. Have a great day. Kept it short, but it was to the point. Nothing but the blood. Amen? Amen. All right, guys. You all take care.